So they put more trust in the friend than they do the Almighty. He's not existing. And you're going to have people in this Bible class like that, have very little faith in the Almighty, very little. It's by faith to read the book yourself and trust in what the book tells you to do. Right? Yes. All right. Hear the voice of my supplication. And that's what we all want. You have to hear the voice of our supplications when you're moaning and groaning. When you're having problems and difficulties in your life. When I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands towards thy holy oracle, draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, who speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. And that's, we got people right in this Bible class that are like that. Constantly stirring up strife and contention, remember right? Conflict in the class, stirring up friction between brothers, sisters, sisters among sisters. You see that? Workers of iniquity. These are not people that are workers of righteousness. These are people that are workers of confusion, wickedness, wicked devices. That's why Sodom is dead in the... Uh, Proverbs 26, I think it is. Hold that, Jeremiah 17. Proverbs 26, I believe. Y'all going to see people in there like that. When you spot them, you better get the heck away from them. Proverbs 26, I believe. Wait a minute. Twenty four. Start the first verse. Watch this very closely. And a lot of y'all y'all do this. Be not thou envious against evil men. Neither desire to be with Don't them. Don't even desire to be with them. You see, if somebody in there shared up strife, contention amongst brothers and sisters, you stay away from them. All right? And that's what Solomon says. Be not thou envious against evil men. Neither desire to be with them. For what? For their heart study of destruction. That is destruction. That's what they study. How can I destroy and bring this person down? Right? And sometimes people that do that are people you like. The main little one they do is somebody you dislike, you're going you're gonna to stay away from that person. It's usually people that you took all your buddies. Those are the ones that entice you to do wrong, and, and you do wrong because you respect them. You want to be in their company. You want to be in the clique. You want to be, am I right? You want to be in the in crowd. And throughout the whole book, I can quote scripture for scripture where Solomon said the same thing. If sinners entice thee, consent thou not. But some people will. Some people will. The weak ones. They will. Now you got to always remember this. Be not thou envious against evil men. Need desire to be with them, for their hearts study destruction, and their lips talk of what? Mischief. What is mischief? Same thing, destruction. Time to tear down something. Time to pull down the congregation. Causing division, confusion amongst brothers and sisters in there. That's what they're doing. And like I said, a lot of times it's somebody, you, some, of, some of y'all best friends, close friends, and because it's them, you turn a blind eye. You don't become like that monkey, don't see no evil, speak no evil, and hear no evil. When it's one of your friends that does. But when someone you don't like does it, it's very noticeable. Very noticeable. Better watch that person you call your buddy. See, some people that you consider your friend are not your friend. 
You think they're your friend. A friend don't cause you to do things wrong or cause you to lead you in the wrong direction. That's not a friend. 